Hey guys, what's up? It's Avita from Via's Light. Please don't forget if you're vibing to hit that like button for me. Also, if you have any questions, if you would like a personal reading, or if you would just like to donate, my information is in the description box down below, okay? Um, also, my membership information is also in the description box and on my channel link, okay? I will be with you guys later today. I don't know what time yet, members, but I will let you know. Um, I don't know why I love this hat, but for some reason it always makes me look like I got dark circles under my eyes. Um, just so you guys know, I don't. It just, I guess, just, I don't know. It looks like I do right now. But I just hopped out of bed and, um, you know, ran out the door so I could work out. Because if I don't move, if I don't get myself motivated, then I'm like, okay, just another, you know, just another couple minutes, just another couple minutes, and it comes another hour, and then another hour, I get lazy, you know. So I gotta push myself. That's why it's really important to do it. You know, push yourself when you first get up. All right, guys. So <clears throat> let me go ahead and say the prayer. Divine Father, Mother, Ancestor, Spirit Guides, and the Most Highest White Light, please surround us and fold us and protect us with your light. Anyone sending any spell work, evil eye, or negative intentions towards us, please send it back with full forgiveness. Thank you. Archangel Michael, will you please protect us right now? Please guide us through this reading. All right, guys. So you might notice that I keep looking over here. Um, I I was getting set up over here and I happened to look over and I noticed a car, okay? So um, it looked like a, like a Mustang or like a, a Corvette. Well, I would say like that, I guess a Mustang. Um, kind of purplish black with tinted windows. And it was going over near the trash over by, there's a, it used to be a college near my home. And then they turned it into a daycare. Um, and it's, it's got a huge parking lot and it's like right before my street, but there's a dumpster right before it. And um, so I look over and I seen them stopped in front of the dumpster. Well, I thought it was kind of odd, but I, you know, let it go. And then when I looked back over, I happened to notice that they were sitting next to it on the other side, like they were coming out of the parking lot, but they really weren't. And if they would have been coming out of the parking lot, it would have been on the wrong side anyways. But because it's empty, because it's Sunday morning, um, it didn't really matter, but they were sitting there, like trying to blend in. So what did I tell you guys about most of the time you can like, look at them you can smile and wave you can take pictures and um if you got you know i'm not saying really the balls and the guts because i don't want anybody to think that hey it's cool to do it and put themselves in in more risk but this is something that i've always done because it made me feel better for them to know that i seen them okay so for me i looked at it different but i don't want you guys doing it and putting yourself at risk but i've always waved or uh, you know just showed them that I know that, that they were there but anytime I did that I always made sure I had my phone in hand and uh, I was like in the middle like in, in the limelight like in the middle of the road or not in the middle of the road but where people could see me okay I wasn't going down no back dirt road or you know no dark road or anything anyway so I decided to take a picture and um, first I waved and then I was like, they still sat there. So I took a picture. Not even like a minute later, they started to pull out very slow. So I, I took my phone and I had it like facing them, kind of like I was recording them, but I really wasn't recording. And as they hit the stop sign, um, I took a picture. So then you could tell they were irritated because they, they, when they were able to take off, they pushed on their gas so hard they screeched out. So as they were turning, um, I took another picture because I knew now that something is definitely not right. You know, why are they taking off? Why are they so worried about me seeing them and taking a picture? and they had their window like cracked a little bit so of course with the tinted windows when you got your window cracked you know you're going to be able to see and for some reason my phone actually took uh, a decent picture 
And um, I was able to, when they were at the stop sign, when I looked at my picture really afterwards, and I went in, zoomed in, at the stop sign, you could tell they were looking at me. And then as they were pulling out, you could tell when they were pulling out and their window was cracked, they turned, their, they turned towards me. But what was weird is, in my pictures, the person driving looked like two different people. It, it was weird, it was like they shape-shifted, for real, for real. And it almost looked like I could see a little bit of a hint of somebody in the back seat. And, but yet, there was like an empty passenger seat. So yes, I look at details, guys. Um, and it was just really odd. But of course, they took off down the road really fast. So um, I feel like what this message is giving me is that somebody's trying to be very sneaky, all right? So I was picking up last night that somebody was, you know, spying, but I feel like somebody's definitely trying to be sneaky. And not only that, but I feel like they do not have good intentions, all right? And um, they don't want to be seen watching you. So I don't know if this person is paid to do this or if this is actually the person that wants to watch you, okay? And then um, what I was picking up is it's about to be a circus, okay? Now remember, you can watch the circus, but you don't have to join it, okay? Enjoy the show if you want, okay? I'm not saying that you should. I'm not going to, you know, tell you what you should or shouldn't do when it comes to that. But I'm just, I'm just letting you know that you shouldn't, okay? My opinion, join the circus, okay? All right, guys. Um, I had one more thing, but I totally, it totally went just somewhere, okay? I'll probably remember. All right, so, yeah. Picking up those, like, creepy vibes, okay? I don't have all my cards with me. I just, I liked, I actually liked it last time I did a reading for you guys before I went into the gym. It felt kind of good. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and do a quick reading for you guys. Okay. Plus you could hear the beautiful birds behind me. I don't know if you know, but there's a church, um, that I, I think I told you guys about this church that shunned me. Um, it's actually right behind me. Um, and I live like, I live this way, that way. Um, but behind me is a church, so I could see it from my house. The reason I could see it is because what they were using as their post for their church, um, the satellite company, or the company for, um, I don't know if it's the phone company or what, but they wanted to put their, um, what do you call it? All right, guys, I don't know why, but I can't think of the name of it, but, you know, where, where your phone can ping off of it. So I guess they made an agreement with the church, and so they, they made it into a cell tower. So they, they mixed it with a cell tower and a cross, which I thought that was kind of nuts. So, yeah, it's a cross on the church property, but it's a cell phone tower, too. Okay, and I'll show you. I don't know if you could see it from here. Let me see on my phone if you could see it. It actually blends in with the trees, the, the two huge trees that are behind me. I'll have to show you at the end, I'll show you. But yeah, it's over there. And then what I was telling you about the person that was over across the street. I'm gonna turn. Do you see down there where the, the car just passed? On the other side, there's a dumpster, a blue dumpster down there. That's where that person was. Yeah. was just a nice little quiet spot for me to to sit i mean yeah it's still a little noisy but it's not that bad yet because it's still early i shouldn't have said that yet because usually when i say that stuff people start to come like things start to happen right all right so let's see what's going on all right guys let me see what's up and please protect my family my subscribers my viewers today guide them let them have discernment and um, let them feel safe and protected, especially on this day. The day, of, I call it spirit day. That way everybody's comfortable, okay? 
to me, it's God, but you know, anybody else, it could be the universe, it could be a tree, because you know, I feel like God isn't everything, like I am, how do you say that, I am, you are, I forgot how you say all that, but I, I believe that, I believe that everybody is one, in one way or another, right? All right, so, The color yellow could mean something. This came up yesterday. Somebody could say hello, but sound like they're saying yellow. Um, this person could be from Pennsylvania or just have that kind of accent. Okay, I knew someone from um, PA and anytime they said hello, they sound like they're saying yellow. Okay. Um, somebody could be being very sweet to you today or could tell you that you're very sweet, okay? Um, definitely start eating a lot of fruits, okay? They're saying fruits, you need to eat some fruits. Bananas especially, all right? And um, you know how like you have to peel stuff off in layers, right? Um, that's, that is what's happening with us, right? We're getting, we're like, we had to be put in this cocoon, right? But kind of like a banana, right? And then after we got to a certain point, like, how do they say it? Like, right, whatever. Um, but once we got, once we get to a certain level, then those other layers get peeled off. Kind of like um, when we had to do our shadow work and stuff like that, you know? And once we're ready, all the layers get peeled off and there we are, right? So it's like, you know how they said we were hidden in plain sight. That's what I feel when I see this, all right? I'm also hearing like flying monkeys, okay? Which some people get different meanings off of that. Um, all right, I'm picking up something about a house. Make sure, um, and this is not to scare you guys, okay? But always make sure that you recheck your windows, your doors, um, make sure that all the locks are, are locked and stuff when you, um, you know, when you, when you leave or um, anything like that. I feel like somebody may have, if someone stayed with you in that house, they could have done something um, to unlock uh, one of your windows or your doors. Even if it was a friend that you thought was a friend, all right, they could have went to go use the bathroom and unlock something, all right? I've been kind of picking up too on on somebody that you've been close to and kind of like a friend that you thought you could trust but this person behind the scenes was betraying you okay um this isn't that isn't for everybody and please remember take what resonates leave the rest past present future timeless read and um go more by the energy than the signs when i do call it the signs okay because it could be in your chart or their chart or i could be reading other energy out of that has been around you okay all right, here comes a wandering eye. All right, so you might have a lot of distractions around you. I'm also hearing something about um, the yard and the roof. So um, I don't know why, as soon as I said that, I, I just heard the roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. <laughs> I don't know, I just heard that when I said roof. So um, somebody could have put something up on your roof. Now, I told you that sometimes they could do that, too, to manipulate your energy. They could put graveyard dirt up there, and if they put enough of it, and um, they do stuff like that, it could, it could, if you're in underneath it, like in the house, it could, I feel, my opinion, it could block your um, connection with Source. Like, Source can hear you, you're still connected, but you just can't hear them. You can't hear your guides or your angels and that might be why and that's why I keep getting that you need to go outside in nature okay is because they're doing whatever they can to block you this way and that way you feel like you you, you know you can't connect but it's not you it's it's something that's going on with the house uh, I hear also the house needs to be saged or cleansed out all right um, there's a lot of uh, 
energy trapped in the walls. I don't know if this is somewhere you've been for a while or there's people that you're renting a house maybe that other people have lived in. Um, but something, something needs to be cleansed out of the house. I'm hearing something about the walls. Okay. I could be also talking about a home that may have been left to you. So if you had a house left to you, or maybe you don't know that yet, um, there's a, there could have been a house and this house um, definitely needs a, a very big cleansing and clearing out, okay? And then I have um, camping. I don't know if you've been camping recently or you want to, or you've been thinking about it, all right? Or you just, it's something that you, you like to do, okay? Um, I'm just hearing camping, so this could even be something that you haven't tried it and you want to try it. All right, um, being outdoors is going to be very good for you, especially um, if you have this bonfire. All right, because bonfires, you you can always you can release a lot in bonfires. Back in the the old days, the tribes, they used to actually, um, and I, I think I brought this up before, they would jump over the the bonfires, um, and they would do fire walks in the rocks. Um, to cleanse out and to release stuff like when you jump over the fire that's leaving your past behind and um and then usually afterwards they would take a piece of paper and they would some up some some of them would and they would burn that um, piece of paper to release um so that's that's uh, there's a couple of meanings behind it you can actually look it up and i have it on my google or on my in my community section um on there you'll see a bonfire and i have the information below it but that's really good with releasing. If you, you know, nowadays, it, it, I, I wouldn't suggest jumping over a bonfire because it's very, you know, you have to be somebody that can really go high. And I, I just don't feel it's safe. But that's why um, how people do it now is they'll take a candle and put the candle on the floor. Kind of like, I, I forgot what it means, uh, the jack jump over the candlestick, but I know that there's a saying about that, um, but jump over, if you jump over a candle, that can do the same thing as jumping over the bonfire because you're jumping over a flame, a fire, and then of course burning the information on a piece of paper, okay? And then I have, um, I don't know if you have a hammock, but a hammock would um, be something that would be also... Um, very uh, comforting I'm feeling like it it's definitely um, not only the fact that you'd be outside and, and being able to enjoy nature but something about the way it holds you and it cradles you okay it there's something about that like being in a cocoon kind of um, and like being in midair right uh, that feels secure like it feels good and so um, that might be something that you might want to invest in, all right? And then I just heard it can't rain all the time. And remember, there, there may be a storm, okay? But um, the storm has to go away, at, you know, sooner or later, and everything will be cleansed and cleared out. So remember that there may be a storm, but the storm, it's going to be um, more like, like I said, like the circus, but you don't have to join the circus, right? I feel like there's a lot of emotions right now going back and forth with everybody. This could be with just you in general, or this could be maybe with family, okay? Sorry, I'm getting hot, guys. I don't know why I'm apologizing. I'm back to doing that sometimes. You know, you could tell when somebody's been in um, abusive relationships, mentally, physically, emotionally, um, because they apologize a lot. And um, I actually had somebody tell me that um, I should work on that and not apologize so much and actually I like the way that they said it because I've had people say it but it was like 
they were kind of nasty about it. You know, they didn't understand it takes time to work through that. But I had somebody tell me in a nicer way. And, um, you know, the way they said it just made me look at it different. And so after working on that, it felt better not to have to, like, not even to feel like you had to, just to, to not do it in general, right? I know, I keep looking. I can't help it. I always look at my surroundings, guys. It's not because I'm paranoid. It's just I want to make sure that I'm safe because I'm not, I'm not paying attention around me when I'm doing the cards because I get zoned out. A test, okay? Your strengths and weaknesses are being tested. So they want to see how devoted and committed you are. And I don't feel like it's really um, source, your guides that are testing you. I feel like it's people around you that are testing you. And, um, you know, source is just letting you know right now that you're being tested, okay? So remember, when things like this happen to us, especially when, you know, we're being attacked and then people are always like, well, if, why wasn't, you know, why wasn't God there for me then? Or, you know, why did he allow that to happen? And they get so angry, kind of like, like I said, if you guys watched the, the movie The Shack, or read the book um you know he was so angry and he was so judgmental and um and it's like but no one understands it's not it's not him it's it's the devil right it's and and that's what the person said to him they're like why don't you get mad at the devil at satan you know maybe maybe god didn't know at the time what was going on or you know wasn't like prepared for that and um and then it came to judgment time and he wanted to judge everybody involved but then it came to okay if that's the case now here's your daughter and here's your son and i guess the son was messing up lying sneaking out at night being deceiving um i think even i don't know if it was using drugs but he was doing something and um the daughter was mad at him or mad at herself because she felt she was the reason that her her sister got kidnapped because she was messing around and her dad went to go help her and her sister got taken when her dad turned her head, his head and so she blamed herself but she was rebelling so the, they were like okay so now you have to pick one child to go to hell and one child to go to heaven and he was like no no you can't make me do this and he was like take me and then they said now you know how God feels and he was like what do you what do you mean and they said well, everybody is God's child, right? And like you're looking at somebody and, and then so how, what they did was they took a, um, they took the guy, his father that was abusive to him when he was younger and his father used to beat him and he went to the church, up to the church to talk to God and he said, um, and the preacher says, go ahead and say your sins. This is why I feel like you shouldn't have to say your sins anyways to a, a preacher or a priest or whatever. But he says, um, my father, you know, he won't stop. I keep praying, but he won't stop hurting, hurting my mom. And the kid even had a, a bruise on his face. And so then his father was upset because he felt embarrassed in front of the whole, like, you know, the whole church. And, um... So when, when they got home, he beat him all night. So the son ended up taking something um, and putting it in the alcohol that he drank because the, the father was a drunk. And he, he ended up uh, dying from it. Um, but this was like way, way back in the day. Like it was, you know, um, I don't, yeah, we'd have to watch it. But anyway, so then they showed him his father, but as a, as a child and his, his father's father putting him in um, a, a dark place I think it was like a, a chest or something opening it up and putting him in there and, and yelling at him and beating him and, and actually worse than what he did to him and he was like what about this kid what about him and he was like or they asked what are you gonna what, what would you say and they said what, he's like what do you mean he's like of course not of course, I don't, I don't feel that he should go, you know, he should go to hell. And then 
they were like, well, you realize who this is. This is your father. And he was like, and then that's when I think afterwards that they showed him um, the person that ended up taking his daughter. And they were like, so now can you forgive? And he was like, how could you ask me to forgive? And, and he, you know, because he, he so wanted to blame um, God. But then they, they went back to, okay, well, again, you got to understand God looks at everybody like his, their, his child. So, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a child or you're an adult, you know, he, you're still his, his, his kid. And so he, they were like, are you going to choose one of your children? And that's when he was like, okay, okay, I, I won't, I don't want to be the judge anymore, you know? And so that, like, you have to really watch it. Um, but yeah, so it's like, well, I just got totally lost in that. Um, so we can't get mad at source. We can't get mad at the universe when these things happen because it's really the karmics. It's people that are at a lower energy, that are hurt, that have been through stuff and haven't done their own work, right? Some of them are possessed. Some of them are demonic. Some of them are actually not human, okay? And they're doing these things to us. And so, yes, we're being tested. But remember that we can't blame him when these things happen, but they're going to make us stronger. And we can always pray for discernment, for guidance and protection so that they will be with us through this. Our guides, our angels, you know, source. And um, so that we're prepared, okay? You could also have a lot of air traffic. I feel like um, somebody that is involved in this group may have, um, may, you know, have their own um, plane, like the little ones, um, and get paid to come out and, and uh, also, you know, do some spying and stuff. And remember, they can sometimes, if they have other ones at the airport, there may be a small airport near you. So they may have access to other, like, um, planes, helicopters, stuff like that. I'm also hearing something about a, a dirt bike. Just to aggravate, like, just to scare you. They may um, do this at nighttime every once in a while or maybe if you've gone for a walk you might hear them going down the road wow yeah they really go through it don't they try to get your attention all right anything else spirit that you want to let them know about feeling kind of like um, nauseous kind of um, back and forth like your energy might feel like a, a roller coaster and you don't know where that's coming from it's because your body is detoxing chemicals okay out of it that don't need to be there all right I feel like there may have been something in the air or in your food so if you feel like that it's because you're detoxing this stuff out of your system all right Somebody is very um, curious about you. This person, um, whew, my nose is itchy. This could be the situation right now, all right? 
this person could be very talkative so if you run into them they might want to talk all right mentally they're restless but they're very energetic all right this person could have dark hair remember i'm reading energy so it doesn't have to be a man it could be a female all right but this person um remember this this could be an air sign they um they have a lot of questions but i feel like this person was paid to do something and now they're curious on um on why right and i do feel like people other people like new people are getting paid here to come and, and have an eye on you because i'm noticing new people around in my energy now um that i haven't seen before so you could be noticing this you could be noticing cars sitting um in spots that they don't usually sit around you around your home all right um and you could be noticing too that your neighbors might be like always outside when you're outside all right um you might even notice new cars that you haven't seen at their house all right remember a lot of things that happened to me um because we're on the same we're, we're basically somewhere on the same level um most of us are but either way a lot of things happen happen like that okay it will happen to you guys or have already happened to you guys because we're like we're mirroring right we're like um, I can't really ex explain it, but I'm pretty sure you know what I'm saying. Most of the readers say this, um, but it's, it's like, you'll find the readers that you need to find at the right time because those are the ones that are at your frequency. Okay. That's what I meant to say. I'll explain it a little better another day. <laughs> I'm working out, you guys. Work it out, work it out. <laughs> did you go to the gym today? Yes, I did. I did a lot of, uh, um, what do you call it? Weightlifting with my fingers. <laughs> All right. So we could have um, three people here. All right, one of them could be a cancer. Somebody could be um, a life path too. But I feel like these people were celebrating. All right. This could be in your community. This could have been a friend too. It's like, and I see like an apple too on the floor and pumpkins. Something could have happened around Thanksgiving or, or Halloween, all right? Or could happen. They could have tried to poison you. So if you ate um, your Thanksgiving food and then felt sick, that could have been why. Because I'm getting like, I'm looking at the apple like poisoning because of course these are like three witches getting together, okay? Um, it looks like one of them may be like in between being good or bad, but the other two are dark, okay, is what I'm getting off this feeling. So one of them is kind of um, sitting on the fence, all right? But these people definitely celebrated feeling like they, they had a victory. And I feel like these, they, they really need your energy. It's like, They do, they're trying to do whatever they can to, um, to have a win-win, okay, in the situation. Remember, the lower that they get your energy, the more that they, they feel better because they feel like they can, um, manipulate you, okay? So we have a, could be a Virgo. All right, the Hermit. Soul searching for inner guidance. Psychic investigator. This is somebody that's watching you though. I feel like you could be soul searching, but this person is is watching you. Like, like they have the star in their, um, in their light. Like now this reminds me of the story where I told you the kids used to catch the light bugs because um, they were curious and they thought that it was neat, right? They were um, enlightened, they were intrigued, they were, it was just 
awesome to them, right? It's like the scientist. And that's what I see here. It's like this person is trying to read you. Do you see the star? This person is trying to get some answers. This person could be an investigator and could use their um, abilities for their work, okay? This person could have been um, paid to do an investigation on you, but the people didn't know that this person was psychic, okay? like somebody was trying to um here comes another person someone was trying to entrap you um into this this light and this person is like not actually like like that but they were trying to do something here and this person is trying to figure out why like what what is where are they, what's the motive here what's going on all right because what they were told was not the truth but they weren't told the whole story I'm getting um, scattered energy, delays, frustration. So we have a Knight of Wands. This could be a Cancer or a Leo, all right? This could be um, a Life Path 3. This person is very hasty right now and frustrated because they feel like they're being delayed from something here. All right. could be a younger energy I feel like this might be somebody in law enforcement or it could be like a lawyer I'm hearing something about paperwork or something now remember at the beginning I said something about a house so there was something here that they may have had a deadline for that they were supposed to get done and they're very upset because there's been a delay okay Yeah, they're fighting. This could be up to five people fighting. I got Leo energy again. There's a disagreement, tension, conflict, because um, nobody's getting a win-win in this. That's why I was saying that you're about to be tested in this. Somebody's initial could be V, or have a V in it, first, middle, or last. Doesn't have to though. But yeah, somebody, um, th there, there's definitely a disagreement, but that's because these people were trying to compete to see who could get into your energy and who could who, who would be able to trick you and you're not falling for it again you go collective all right this could be a religious group i got taurus energy the higher front so yeah this is something about your beliefs that is keeping you safe all right, something that you do and that you've been doing. Remember, the more you grow, the more that you focus on self, the more light comes, the more on, lights on the situation. And remember, your light irritates their demons. But it's like, the more you do this, the more they trip up because their eyes are so focused on you. All right. But I feel like this is definitely a religious group and they're they're trying to say things that are not true about you. And that's why this other person is investigating you because they just don't see it. They don't see what these people are saying about you being true. I feel like this person is definitely very greedy. somebody's about to get bit 
because I feel like I'm about to get bit by an ant. I feel an ant on me leg. On me leg. So somebody might be about to get bit, like, from, from messing with you, okay? Trying to test you. And they're going to get burnt. Justice. So this is your justice. Truth, effect, law. So I feel like they're going to get caught. They're so mad that they're they're not thinking. They're doing stuff impulsively. And because of this, they're not paying attention to, to the trap that they're about to fall in. Is what I just heard. Okay. And remember, past, present, future. And we just got through the 5-5 five, five portal last night, guys. Congrats, congrats. I feel like some of you guys were pushed or pulled through it. Okay. Um... But um, everybody that's been working on self and focused on the right things, I know that you guys made it through. All right. I totally forgot about that last night, and I would have mentioned it on my live, but I forgot until I got woke up at, um, it was almost five in the morning. I definitely have Virgo, so there's definitely a Virgo in this energy. Determining the circumstances. Seven days to seven weeks. Seven, seven, seven. I feel like that, like your luck is changing. You have good luck on your side, okay? And then I got the Virgo. Um, somebody's birthday could be on the 24th of August or uh, the 22nd of September. All right, harvest the crop. So in the next six weeks to six months, you are going to be harvesting your crops. So all the seeds that you planted, remember you, whatever you put out into the world, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna get back from that. So I feel like you've been putting a lot out and this could be your manifestations, this could be a lot of work that you're doing. Um, you know, just being the light in other people's um, dark darkness, right? Trying to show them the way. And um, you're going to be growing from this and being rewarded. Okay. I'm also getting um, July 6th or June. So July 6th or 10th or June 7th or 10th. Okay. And then you will start all over. All right, so this is like starting all over again, rewriting your story. For some of you guys, you guys will feel like this, but this is more like a transition, all right? Especially with like 10 is to me is like October. 10, uh, one is like new beginnings, okay? Make a wish. Zero is new beginnings. One is new beginnings too, but it's like make a wish. It's like when you're already starting into the new beginnings. Um, Let me see, seven, so I got, wow, all right, six, seven, I don't have eight, and then uh, it's a process. It's a processing, and it's processing well now. Something comes to an end. All right, so in nine days to nine weeks, something is going to come to an end. Um, and I feel like after that, things are going to change because then I have 10 days, you will start. Um, so this is, I feel like it's going to be a brand new, like beautiful beginning for you. And it's not, it's not going to be anything that you have to worry about. Right. And it's not like you have to start all over on learning and all that again. It's, it's just that like you're going to have everything you need and you're going to be able to start with the clean slate is what I got here. Um, and you'll have all the knowledge that you need to move forward. This is like when you first move somewhere and you're, you're getting started and you're getting your job and you're getting your house going and all that. That's, uh, that's kind of like energy I'm feeling here. Okay. All right, guys.
don't forget, remember, somebody's trying to test you, and that's why they have a lot of eyes on you right now, because they're curious, and they, instead of you being the one walking on eggshells, I feel like they are, and, and you're walking in silence, like you're, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, and you're feeling good about it, you know, and you're focusing on self. And these people are trying to get your attention by causing distractions and chaos around you. And remember, you don't have to join the circus, right? Just keep moving forward. You, I, I feel like you do have um, some good things coming into your life, okay? This may be um, money out of nowhere that you get or something that could have been left to you. This could be a home, all right? Now, if it is a home, I would suggest definitely clearing it, cleansing it before you even move in. Um, some of you guys might even want to sell it. Um, or this might have already been sold and by the time you find out about it, you might end up just getting the money for it. Okay, everybody's situation is different, but I was picking up something about a home. And don't forget, wherever you are living, to cleanse out your house and, and recheck your, um, just all your locks and stuff because I feel like you could have had a friend there that may have just thought it was funny to um, do this, okay? Maybe even to scare you and then say that they didn't do it. Um, just follow your gut. Remember that energy, that, that, that feeling that you get, right? Those signs that you get. And, and take notes so that you don't, you don't forget about certain things, right? Because you're about to have an aha moment, okay? Alright guys, stay strong and don't forget to do something different today. Peace, love, and light.